in life, you have choices. They're healthy and not. And sometimes it's tricky to choose what you ought. So if you are wondering what makes you ill, it's easy to know because everything will. A is for alcohol, source of addiction, liver diseases and other afflictions. So how about water? That might be okay. But if it's in plastic, there's B, BPA. C is for corn syrup soda pop uses, and also for carbs found in sugary juices. D, dehydration. You still have to drink, though all these beverages seem like they stink. Eating too little or too much to count? E is for eating imperfect amounts. And eating some things that you shouldn't consume, cause dozens of dishes, will lead to your doom. F is for fried food that's filled up with fat. Gluten for G, if you buy into that. H is for hot dogs. Who knows how they're made? I for insecticide. Veggies are sprayed. J is for jerky with way too much salt. And K is for kale. It's also at fault. But isn't it healthy? I'm glad that you ask. Cabbage and kale make thyroids too fast. Forget about eating. I'll just go outside. But that is where even more dangers can hide. L is for Lyme disease carried by ticks. Malaria, M, that mosquitoes inflict. N, in diethyl m toluamide. It kills all the bugs and it kills your insides. O is for oxygenless recreation. P, for pollution in each inhalation. Q is for quicksilver. Fishing is wrecked. R, deadly radon that's hard to detect. S is for sunscreen, but also the sun. Both give you cancer. Now isn't that fun? T for tobacco, UV for UV. W, watching way too much TV. X, as expected, is X hyphen ray. Y is surprisingly Yerba Mate. C is for zealotry. Any insistence that you found the key to eternal existence. You can't avoid danger. Just go on and try. No matter your actions, you're still gonna die.